Welcome to August Leco Challenge. Today's problem is delete node in a binary search tree. Given a root node reference of a binary search tree and a key, delete the node with the given key in, in the BST. So basically, we want to search for the node for the given key and then delete it. We want to do this in O of height of the tree, so we can call that H. And we probably will be writing a recursive function to be doing, doing this. So this problem's simple enough. How do we do it? Well, there's a couple possibilities that can occur here, right? Say that we are given the number two to delete. So we can just traverse down our binary search tree normally. Uh, go left if our number is greater and right if our number for the tree node is less. And we just search down until we find the key and say that the key we're given is two and it has no children. All we need to do is make that parent that was pointing to that node now point to a none, right? So whatever we return here, we can just return a none if it has no children and make sure the parent uh, from whatever direction we came in, whether it was right or left, is now pointing to a none value. Now, what if it has one child? So if we want to delete six, we would want to bring this seven up to now point to the six, right? We want to have this five point to the seven instead. So what we can do there is just, um, depending on whether the value, if whether it has a child of left or has a child of right, just return that one and make that the parent point to that node instead now. But those are only going to take care of three cases, right? Either they have no children, they have one child to the right, or they have one child to the left. But what do we do when they have two children? And that's a little bit more complicated. So we'll get into that as we code this out. Let's start by using this function here given to us as the first recursive function. So what we'll do is first say if not node, I'm sorry, if not root, we'll just return none because there's no tree given to us. Otherwise, we're going to do a typical binary search for, in a binary search tree and go left or right depending on whether the value is greater or higher. So first I'll say if the hmm, root.value equals the key given to us, then we're going to do something a little different, but we'll pass that for now. And we'll say else if root.value is greater than the key, then what do we want to do? Well, that means our key is to the left, right? So we will um, recursively call our delete node. I should write self here. And we want to go left, so we'll say root.left. And we'll pass in the same key, which is still going to be key. Now, one thing also, uh, we want to make sure that whatever we return is going to be what we set to this, to whatever uh, root here is, right? So here we'll make root.left equal to whatever gets returned from our recursive call. Otherwise, we know that we're going to go to the right, so we'll say root.right equals self.delete node to root.right key. Finally, at the end of the recursive call, we'll return the node. Okay, so that's simple enough. Um, but what if we reach our key number and we want to re make sure to re return the proper node, right? So there's four possibilities that we mentioned. We said there might be no children, there might be one ch children to the left or one children to the right, or they might have both children. So let's start with if there's no children. So if root dot, um, root dot left and root dot right are both null, so if not, root.left and not root.right, well, we return a none because we want whatever direction we came from to now point to a none since we're getting rid of that, rid of that node. Otherwise, if not root.left, but there is a root.right, then we return the root.right because now whatever direction we came from is now going to point to that root.right. Uh, same thing if it's the other way if not root dot right and root dot left exists, then return root dot left. So we've already taken care of three possibilities, but what if they both have children? And that's kind of the hard one. So say that 
we have this example here and we want to get rid of the number two we enter in the number two and we want to get rid of that so what's this what is this going to look like afterward well if we get rid of two then we want three ne the next greatest number to now take its place right we want three up here and we want to get rid of this three here and it would be the same for like any other way if it's has two children basically you want to get the next minimum number and replace that and get rid of that original number so how can we do that and to get that actual node moved up here is a lot more complicated how about we just take the value and replace this node's value with that next number and then recall this delete node to delete that node number here that existed before so we can do that. That that sounds not too bad. So if all three of these possibilities were not the case, um, if both, let's say, if both children, then let's move to the right once and then go left as far as possible to get the next um, greatest number. So we'll set some sort of pointer and we'll say, all right, move first to the right. And we'll say, while this pointer has a left, keep making... Uh, left traversals to the to, to to the left to get the next you know greatest number. So once we've finished that, now our point is going to be pointing to the next uh, lowest number. So we'll say okay, root dot value. Now want we want that to equal to the, to the pointer dot value. And now whatever this root is pointing to on the right side, since we Make sure to move right once. Now we want that to equal delete node. And we will pass in the uh, root dot right with the root dot value since it's going to be the same value that we just replaced it with. And because we just replaced this with 3, now remember that 3 existed here. We're going to go down here and delete 3 and return the uh, the current node here was still going to be 4. So, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we're going to do. Um, and I believe that might be it. Let's see if this works. And it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted. So time complexity on this is basically the height of the tree, O of H. Uh, we do do some extra traversals here but it but it's it's not enough to um, make it exponential and that would be it and this is really the trickiest part here figuring out that we want to get the next greatest number and replace that node that we're deleting with that value and then delete that actual node for the next value so that would be it all right so that concludes our august challenge i uh, really hope that helps Really appreciate you watching my videos, so thank you. And remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.